Hey guys, welcome back. We are back working on the camper a little bit today. Um, it's late again. As you can see, it's dark out here. But I just got home from work a little while ago. Uh, but we're going back to work. Uh, still working on the brakes. So we got the actuator and everything put on the other day. And it wasn't working quite properly. And I traced it back to pretty sure it was being the brake controller. So I got my other brake controller in. And we're going to get it installed in the Suburban. And I know it's going to work because I threw it in my truck the other day. And that was the problem. The brake actuator has to be capable of working with a electric to hydraulic brake actuator. Not all brake controllers will do that. So I've got a... I've had a Kurt Triflex brake controller in my vehicle for a long time. Here it is right here. So I've used that, I've used that in multiple vehicles and it's worked great for my electric only trailers. I've got multiple trailers with electric. So I've got that in all our personal vehicles. I've got those in my company trucks so that we can use the company trailers and everything with the electric brakes, but it will not work with the electric hydraulic unless there's something I don't know about, but from what I can tell it will not work. So I've went and got another one. It's the Taconcha Prodigy something or other. I'll drop the, uh, a link to it in the description because I've had somebody ask. And I'll also put a link to the Dexter brake actuator that I'm using. There's a couple different brake actuators. This one is the 1600 PSI that's supposed to be for disc brakes, which is what this trailer has. And then they've got another one that's, I think, a 1000 PSI that's for drum brakes. Evidently, those are different. So if you're doing brakes, you need to do at least a little bit of research and figure out which one you need. But we're going to put in this brake controller here um all i gotta do is put this new bracket in in the place Actually, it may be the same size take a look and see a uh, new bracket in the place of this old one and we'll take this brake controller out put the new one in and then do some testing hardest part about this whole thing is just crawling up under the dash here but thankfully this is pretty easy so i got the old one off there and right under here right there is where the old one's plugged in. That's where I'll plug the uh, the new one in at. All right, out with the old. I'll use that in another vehicle and in with the new. lights and no connection all right we'll put this bracket up here so we can get it on the dash here all right so my old brake controller you can't see anything here's some light my old brake controller was mounted right here and i'm trying to decide if i want to put it there or not so i've also got um over here i've got my cb radio that we use on toggle between vehicles if we're both driving down the road close to each other we can talk on the cv or we can pick up trucker chatter on the road or something if there's an accident we can pick things up we we'll do that when we're on long trips every once in a while um but i also have the midland midland uh two-way g gmrs radio that i'm going to put in for some of the overland stuff so I'm going to reevaluate here and see if I want to put my brake controller back there and where I want to put this radio and plan out my electronics here a little bit. All right, here's our radio kit. This is the Midland MXT115. And I've also got uh, this antenna that I'll be putting on at some point. I think it's got a magnetic one in the kit. So I may not put that on until I have a better place to mount it later. But this is radio kit here oh it's tiny so small compared to the big honking cb over there all right get this thing cut open and see what we got all right here's what comes in the radio kit so you've got the radio here and a bracket to mount it and then you've got the cigarette lighter power supply. I'll probably use that for now. At some point I may switch that and hardwire it in. And then we've got a small little bitty 
magnetic antenna, which I'm also going to use for the time being. Some Velcro pieces. I don't know what those are for. Instructions. We don't need those. And a little sticky clip here for the mic. That could be kind of handy. And, of course, we've got the mic that just plugs in to the front of the, the unit. So we're going to get this put in here somewhere. All right. I got everything installed. There's the brake controller right there. And then here's the two-way radio over here. Bada boom, bada bing. And the old CB. So I actually stuck this down here. There's actually a spot for a cup holder. Um, though this Suburban used to have a blank plate over it, but it's actually made to put a fold-out cup holder there. Um, originally this had a center console, not the jump seat, and we switched the jump seat out so we'd fit nine people in here if need be. And uh, I've never put a cup holder in there, even though it's a space made for some. But anyway, we are done with electronics for now. Got the holder mounted up there. Oh, it's late. And I'm tired. It's been a long day. So I still got a couple things to do. Uh, we actually kind of halfway broke the uh, trailer connector on the back of the vehicle the other day. It hangs down really low. And I'm surprised we never broke it before, but it finally drug and and uh, bent that up. So I gotta replace that, and then we can test the brakes and see if they're working, which they should be. I just gotta get another part. Imagine that. All right, back working on it a little bit this evening. Um, uh, I'll show you these. Uh, Deals now that you can actually see them now that it's not nighttime. There's brake controller. Brake controller. There's the radio. I'll tighten up these wires a little bit later. Um, that fell off. I figured that would fall off. It didn't have very good double-sided tape on it. Not for sticking on that up there anyway where I had it. I don't think I want it up there in the long run anyway. I had it right here, but I don't really like that. So I'll probably put it somewhere else. But got all that working. And now, uh, got to work on this. So this got beat up the other day, running around. It's been hit, I don't know how many times over the years. And it finally just gave up, about broke off, and that's kind of halfway broken. Still works for the most part. Doesn't entirely work. So I've got this replacement that's going to be a flush mount that I'm going to put up here. I'm gonna drill a hole right here, mount it up there. That's how I've had my truck over here for years and years. So this one's gonna be the same, then it's up and out of the way. So that's what I'm gonna do. Got my colors marked here as to where they are on this one, so this should this should be right. We'll see. 
You should always disconnect the battery before doing this. I didn't. there and you have it uh, how not to wire up your trailer harness 101 basically don't do anything I just did and you'll probably be okay that nice the nice sunset out there I just love the just love sunsets all right I'm gonna hook this up to the vehicle hook the trailer up and see if I did anything right maybe 50 50 if that We have running lights. All right, so we've got all the lights working, but the brake actuator still isn't working. All right, I got it figured out. It took me a little while. It turns out it all had to do with the fuse that wasn't there. I'm not sure how, because I just pulled a trailer with this all the way across the state. A month ago, maybe, with electric brakes and used my other controller, and it worked just fine. But for this, I don't know. Anyway, it's working now. So, I don't know if you can hear it, but I can hear the actuator kick in when I do that and build pressure on the brakes. So, I just need to get the brakes bled. So, we make sure we get all the air bubbles out of the system and we should be good to go. Awesome. All right, I'm going to screw this on right there and you may be wondering normally you should paint this drill out hole i'm not going to on this because this bumper is already rusted and dented and needs to be replaced and has been for a very long time so i don't really care so i'm going to screw this in place and i will make it better when i replace the bumper <sighs> get rid of that thing don't need it anymore all right i got one more thing i'm gonna do here real quick so this right here that used to be my cb antenna uh, a couple of years ago actually i think we caught it on a tree and broke the little bracket off but finally got a replacement it still works 
just the range is really really bad without the antenna it'll still pick up between our vehicles just a little bit which is about all we use it for it so i hadn't replaced it but i'm gonna go ahead and replace it and then it'll pick up a lot better so and yeah that's about all we use it for is just between our vehicles and then if we're on a long road trip on the interstate or something and there's a wreck or something like that sometimes you can get on and hear the truckers and uh find out some information if you need to get off the interstate blah 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 anyway i'm gonna throw this antenna on this is just a glass mount cb antenna this one should work so i don't have to rerun the wire i should be able to just stick it on so i'm gonna get that thing peeled off and get this one put on some go grab some cleaner and clean that off and stick the new one on. So I've been hearing this. See that right there? I've been hearing this squeaking out in this tree in our yard. I believe that's a little flying squirrel. Where'd he go? Oh, he's hiding on the other side of the tree. Oh, he ran up the tree. All right, so maybe I'll see. That's the inside piece. So that just shoots through the glass the outside antenna so i have used so this just goes and right there all right there we go cb antenna is on so perfect all right guys thanks for watching um hopefully this one wasn't too boring i know it wasn't a whole lot of stuff there just electrical stuff and getting the brakes kind of wrapped up on that but it's all working now which i'm excited about because i'm about to hook this thing up and we're about to take off tomorrow and spend the night camping in it and i got pulled through some arkansas mountains a little bit so i'm excited to have the brakes on it makes me feel safer and more confident in pulling up places so yeah if uh if you like the video give it a thumbs up and if you want to subscribe to the channel go for it if you don't i don't care whatever you want but uh i think that's about all for today i'm gonna get this thing hooked up and we're gonna get on the road